Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going over how to get workers. I was going to add crafting in this video, but that might be a little overwhelming for me to explain without getting off topic, so expect a crafting video soon. To make this video simple, I'm going to assume you have no workers, so the first thing I want you to do is find a city that you want your workers to be in. I highly recommend Velia because it's the first city you find and it has a lot of great resources to get you started. Before you buy workers, you need somewhere for them to live. So in this case, they're going to be living in Velia, but you can choose like Heidel, Calpheon, Altanova, and more. But in this case, we are doing Velia. So you wanna click on Velia, you'll see all these houses pop up. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see a little better. But then you wanna click on one of the houses that has the lodging option. And when you have the lodging option, you can buy rooms for workers, and that's where they're basically gonna live. So the more lodge lodging space you have, the more workers you can have. But to buy these houses, you're gonna need something called contribution points. And you can see that right at the top left corner, I have 84 out of 152. And the way you get these is just doing quests. It's that simple, play the game, do the quests, and over time you'll have a bunch. I don't think there's a cap on that. So eventually you can have like 500 or something like that. But it's definitely good. If right now you only have like 20, 30 on you, that's okay, you can still buy a house. I think it costs like one contribution point. And I actually think that's the way to go because this way you're not gonna be overwhelmed with like 20 workers. You're gonna have like two workers, three workers, and it, you're gonna learn the mechanics of having workers, I guess. I've said workers a lot in this video, but I guess that's a good thing. If there's anything I want you guys to learn from this video, it's that this video is about workers. I hope I'm not making this video confusing for you guys. I'm really trying to explain this how I would if we were actually talking. If I am making this confusing, let me know down in the comments and I will answer all your questions. But at this point, you should know what town you wanna to have your workers in. You should have bought a lodging house or two. And now for the main ingredient, let me show you where you buy a worker. Hey guys, so for some reason my gameplay recorded but my voice didn't so I'm just gonna go over what's happening in the video. Once you talk to the work supervisor you want to click on contract workers and once you clicked on it you'll see your first worker. You'll see an option to say view another and that uses energy. Every time you hit that it's gonna use five of your energy. The way you get energy is by talking to NPCs with question marks over their head or killing monsters in the world. I would highly recommend not buying every single worker you see. I would recommend buying blue or higher. And when I say blue or higher, the rarities go from gray, green, blue, yellow, and orange. And yellow and orange are very rare, but blue is pretty common, so I would settle with nothing worse than blue. So now that you got a worker, you have to choose where you want your worker to start working. Me personally, I need some taters. So I'm gonna click on this node and then I'm gonna choose potato farming. But you'll notice when you click on it, it'll say up in the top left that you'll need to visit the node manager. I recommend just auto running to that person. So I'm gonna back out of my map. I already ran here. So I'm gonna talk to the person that I need to talk to. Go to node management and then it brings you to the map. You wanna click on the node that you wanna start your worker on and then invest a contribution point. It just takes one, it's not anything crazy. And then your worker will pop up. This is the blue worker we just got in the video. I'm gonna click on them. I'm gonna make them work 50,000 times because I really like to make my workers work for their beer. By the way, you feed your workers by feeding them beer. I know it's crazy. I'm gonna hit okay. And then I'm gonna go to start working. Once you've owned this node though, like we own it now, you can do all this from your map. You don't have to talk to a node manager. You just have to do it for the first time at a node manager. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys learned something in some way, shape, or form. When I was making this, I was trying to make it so it wasn't super confusing. I wasn't showing you the most efficient way or anything like that. I was just trying to get you guys up on your feet. So if you learned anything, let me know down in the comments and maybe leave a like on the video. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.